joins us now from IG in Melbourne. Get us across his thoughts. Let's talk currencies. Uh, the Aussie dollar seeing a little bit of strength overnight. Stand still, though, below, just below that 95 US cent mark. Do you see it breaching it during our session? Morning, James. Absolutely. I think uh, the Aussie just remains resilient at the moment. And I think the message uh, is probably clearly that uh, uh, the RBA probably doesn't have too much control over what the currency does. So even, even though they uh, came out with those comments in their statement yesterday suggesting that the currency remains a bit too high, uh, and of course they're uncomfortable with this, uh, along with the fact that uh, it's likely to, to hamper um, or it, it will hamper the uh, sort of uh, lead towards a balanced growth system. Uh, hasn't made too much of a difference for the Aussie dollar in the short term. Uh, we're probably expected to, to remain uh, fairly underpinned heading into some key events uh, for the Aussie dollar uh, heading into the end of the week. Uh, today we've got trade balance numbers at 11.30. They probably won't make too much of a difference, uh, expecting a trade deficit of... Uh, half a billion dollars so that probably uh, won't uh, drive price action uh, too much today uh, but of course tomorrow's uh, jobs numbers are, are likely to be uh, the, the pivotal event for the uh, Aussie dollar going forward unemployment's expected up uh, to tick higher to 5.7% um, so that's where the focus will be along with uh, participation and whether or not uh, we're adding uh, jobs or not so uh, that will be uh, the key event for the Aussie dollar I feel uh, and uh, that along with uh, the price action from a US dollar perspective where we continue to get this Kiwi uh, uh, tapering uh, repricing uh, of course overnight we did see the, the greenback supported once again uh, with some uh, firm uh, ISM uh, services uh, numbers coming out along with uh, comments from uh, uh, James Rosengren the Fed member suggesting or questioning rather the um, uh, costs of uh, maintaining the current QE program so uh, Fed members have certainly not ruled out uh, that tapering could occur by the end of the year still and uh, this will see uh, the US dollar continue to find buyers uh, and as a result we even have the dollar index pushing into that uh, 81 level so uh, it, it certainly does look like uh, from a US dollar perspective the Aussie will have to come off uh, but solely looking at uh, the, the Aussie uh, I don't think the RBA uh, uh, the RBA's job owning uh, quite worked as uh, as well as they would have wanted it to uh, and I think uh, the market's starting to see that uh, perhaps they don't have that sort of control on the Aussie dollar so even if they do talk it down uh, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that the Aussie will get sold off Stan that's currencies talk me through equities and what you're expecting from our session today yeah, we're actually calling the market up a couple of points uh, to uh, 5,434. So uh, that's uh, really uh, bucking the trend from uh, some losses uh, in Europe and uh, the U.S. And I, I really do feel it's uh, due to the fact that we've got uh, a couple of big dividends coming up uh, on Thursday and Friday. Uh, tomorrow we've got nearly 20 points coming out of the market. Um, and that, that includes uh, companies like uh, NAB and ANZ. On Friday, we've got over 11 points coming out of the market as well. So chances are we'll see uh, uh, the market underpinned by the stocks that are trading ex-diff tomorrow. And that includes NAB and NZ. They'll be bought up today. It'll be the last chance for uh, investors to get involved before uh, they, they, for them to get the dividends. So uh, that should be a fairly good day for those stocks today. Well, of course, on, on the banking side as well, we've got uh, Commonwealth Bank and its uh, first quarter update due, due out today. It doesn't carry as much weight as the full year earnings, which we saw last week, but it should still be enough to uh, cause a little bit of uh, uh, movement in the stock. And uh, they're likely to make some comments on uh, the state of the local economy as well. So that should be quite interesting. Uh, from uh, the, the miners' perspective, iron ore put on another dollar to 136.80 so that's a very positive move for uh, iron ore it should support the iron ore miners today i think bhp's adr is actually pointing up uh, about 0.4 percent which mm. will see it trade above 38 dollars for the first time since uh, february uh, at the same time fortescue has got an uh, an upgrade from um, ubs to to a buy from neutral so that that's also something to look at uh, but apart from that it should be a fairly quiet and uh, subdued day for the rest of the market uh, and focus is likely to be on the majors and the stocks that are trading ex-div on uh, uh, Thursday and Friday. Stan, good to talk. Thanks a lot. Cheers, James. Uh, Treasurer Joe Oki is set to outline plans to dump seven proposed tax changes following a review of almost 100 changes announced by Labor but not yet legislated. It reportedly includes 